Because of the steep terrain here on the south line of the Blue Top Fire, crews installed this water cannon to keep the flames from spreading. Crews battling a wildfire in tough terrain. There are places where it's honestly just not safe to send firefighters down into. The Mackenzie River Ranger District says the Blue Top Fire broke out Wednesday afternoon. Right when we got here, we had a couple different, we had three different snags on fire. Uh, log went over the cliff. Um, the wind did push it, so that's why it got as big as it did. And say it's now burning at nearly three and a half acres. Around 40 firefighters are working to put this wildfire out, but crews say steep cliffs and rolling rocks limit their access. You can see around us right now, there's a lot of big trees, there's snags, we're on a rocky cliff. At any point in time, you know, some of these trees and snags could fall, and we want to make sure that everyone's safe. Crews are attacking hot spots that are unsafe to reach by foot with a water cannon. So we're just having the, the water cannon hit it and the water, it's actually hitting the spot right on. Saturday, crews also worked to build a contingency line around the fire to keep it from spreading. And they say access from the Mackenzie River Trail to Blue Pool remains closed as crews continue to fight the wildfire. We've got to get the tankers in and out. We've got a lot of equipment coming in and out. They say they don't have an estimation on when the trails will reopen, but say crews will be assessing the need for the closure every day. We know that this is a really popular place for people to come and visit, um, especially on hot summer days. But there are many other places that they can visit and cool off and, you know, have a really fun experience. So we ask them to seek those out and just give us some time to make sure that this is a safe area for them. Crews say the cause of this fire is under investigation. Near Mackenzie Bridge, Amber Wilmarth, KZI 9 News.